This is the Honor X9C, the company's latest melee weapon of a smartphone. And this is succeeding the Honor X9B, which we got to review much earlier. And you know, for that, for that version, I was never really a fan because of, I think the design was just a little too tacky, especially in that bright orange color. And I didn't really like the, you know, kind of gold trimmings on the camera module because it just wasn't that nice. But this time around, it seems that the company has listen to that kind of feedback and turn things around right now the x9c looks absolutely great it's even more durable than ever it's got a bunch of certifications for drop proof waterproof scratch proof from switzerland sgs and it's touted to be one of the world's most durable phones with a full comprehension defense towards damage but what does that entail? Because, you know, in the market, people don't just wake up and decide, oh, I'm just going to buy a really durable phone. Nobody really thinks that because, you know, we buy phones for more specific purposes. Some people want to buy phones to take photos, to play games, or to just do their work. These are pretty much like the only three real requirements that people look at smartphones every day. And... I guess my review here is encompassing the idea of, you know, asking a question. Yes, this is the most durable phone, but just how much phone can this possibly be if the most marketed aspect of it is the durability, just like the Honor X9B. But the gist of my video right now on concluding what kind of phone this is, I'm here to tell you that the Honor X9C is a pretty competent mid-range option because it doesn't cost that much in Malaysia. So there are just two variants in 256 gigs or 512 gigs and both pack the same 12 gigs of RAM which can be expanded with another 12 gigs from the internal storage. So the base model which I'm using right now is 1499 ringgit and if you add 200 ringgit more to 1699 that's the 512 gig version and you know below 2000 ringgit for this kind of phone this is definitely targeted for people who prioritize battery life getting work done and taking some photos in between. This actually does have a pretty competent camera setup and in terms of performance, it's pretty much the same chipset from the X9B, which is Snapdragon 6 Gen 1, which is not too bad. It's a little dated, but you definitely know what kind of expectations we have here when it comes to gaming. So AAA gaming is off the table. I'm not saying that you can't, but I'm just telling you that you're going to be playing in lower graphic details, lower resolution, but if you're going to play simple games like Mobile Legends, uh, any game from the um, Play Store Play Pass, the Game Pass, I you can definitely play it smoothly. The chipset is actually decent uh, on that capacity. And it's overall pretty smooth because, you know, it's got 120 hertz AMOLED. The colors are really nice. It has the same on a display tech that people came to love on the Magic series. So you got your high pulse width modulation, you got your eye care, and that's pretty much what Honor does to their devices now. So the more expensive options get all the stuff uh, faster and earlier while it trickles down slowly to the rest of the series. And of course the X series, which is right here, gets that benefit too. So at a 1.5K resolution, I mean, colors are really, really nice. Display has always been their strong suit. Colors are nice and vivid. And you'll still enjoy watching videos on a phone like this. And especially in low light, because when you have that 3840 hertz PWM for your low light, that's really no flicker when you're viewing videos in the dark or yet alone photos. And, and for brightness, it goes up to 4000 nits, which I think on an industrial scale is excessive and definitely more than enough for the average consumer. So there is no concern when it comes to display and doing everyday tasks. The chipset with that amount of RAM and 120 hertz refresh rate does a pretty decent job like i said you're playing light games you're good to go you're gonna get that maximum smoothness you're gonna have a good time and when you drop this phone nothing's gonna happen because it's so incredibly durable and for the longevity of things 6600 milliamps of battery is huge and i know that you know people who are in the logistics and the dispatch line like grab riders la la move riders will definitely love this because they barely have to charge this phone and they get to use this for like 
maybe one full day and a half before needing to charge it again because you know when you're doing that line of work that requires you to use your phone to interface uh, with customers like getting jobs and constantly using the GPS to navigate your way to like an endpoint where your customer is that is a very consuming task and with this amount of battery capacity which is huge and generous and with a seemingly more power efficient chipset compared to flagship processors you're definitely getting really long legs to last even up to two days if you're not that busy a guy i'm constantly on text i'm on calls emails constantly taking photos of things everywhere and of course passively listening to music and doing a bunch of other stuff in the background <laughs> i still got two days of battery life and i think that that's pretty impressive for someone like me because i did not hold back and when it came to charging it back up again it, this comes with a 66 watt on a supercharged power brick which charges this bad boy back up to full from a flat battery in just about an hour i was going to expect less than an hour but then you know you have high wattage and a higher capacity uh, battery which is already in the 6000 range above you definitely know that you know they have to up it up otherwise if they retain the same charger from the x9b which is half of that speed you're definitely going to be what, charging this in almost two hours, which is unacceptable in standards like these today. One thing I actually quite liked about the Honor X9C is actually the camera system. Because yes, we're going to be comparing with the X9B and they both use a 108 megapixel main camera sensor, but this time it comes with OIS here. And that means, that's right, you get your motion sensing and you get to capture even fast moving objects with that crystal clear accuracy and momentum just like the main series of honor phones so that's pretty nice and fun i found the camera system to be quite nice and competent uh, colors are really nice the contrast is there the hdr i want to commend because it did not blow out anything despite overcast weather and in broad daylight obviously you're going to capture plenty of detail that's all well and dandy i can definitely see people using a phone like this and seeing it as a very good budget option to use it for street photography because the double benefit is you know if you're a clumsy person and you need to take street photos in a very fast-paced motion and environment, you know, big crowds everywhere, the hustle and bustle of what a city provides and you're knocking your phone off the floor, this is going to be fine. And you're not going to feel that heart pain when you see your phone getting damaged because it's not going to get damaged in a scenario like that. So the assurance here is the durability. I know uh, there's a lot of people that have been testing phones like this by smashing it up on the floor, throwing it on the road. Uh, trying to shoot high pressure water jets at it and even dipping it into a pot of boiling soup that is that is insane i don't see people realistically doing that and you know telling themselves that when they're trying to make a informed purchase decision on a phone so i would just tell you like yes this is one of the most durable phones in the market right now for 2024 but but don't don't do that to your phone you should you should love your tech because they're like investments they are supplementary devices to enhance people's lives. Treat it with some dignity and respect. We're clumsy by nature and by design. We can't stop that from happening. But, you know, this phone was purpose-built for mishaps like that, but not intentional damage. Don't just get out there and just start tossing it straight into the crossroads and the asphalt and expecting not a single scratch. It will still get damaged like that, but I guess the extent of their damage might not be so much because like i said that triple layer of protection is designed to you know um, minimize the cosmetic damage when that comes from kinetic activity such as throwing it around dropping tossing you know any form of movement that causes physical damage i guess it's purpose built to protect from that and last but not least it's the software so you're using magic os 8 out of the box and for the first time ever you're also getting ai you're getting AI on an X-Series Honor smartphone, which is way less than 2,000 ringgit. So it's making a lot of things accessible for people and you get to enjoy some AI goodness in between, which is really, really good because right now you're going to be able to use the th uh, stuff like Magic Portal, um, Magic Capsule, which is that pill shape on the top of your screen to get, you know, some really nice at a glance notifications in a little small island cut out on top. So that's not bad and I think 
while it is not exactly a major selling point, it's a nice to have. I will place it in the nice to have section because you know people aren't really exactly looking out for AI phones right now, like on purpose. So this is a nice bonus. And finally, the best part of it is now you get stereo speakers. A lot of people from the X9B who actually love the phone didn't exactly love the fact that you didn't get stereo speakers and they were just mono speakers. I guess Honor has listened to their consumers, turned that around once more and gave us a pair of stereo speakers for us to blast music out of. And that's just great. You know, this is on a level where I appreciate brands listening to consumers and giving them what they want without adding too much financial burden into the price. So I will conclude that the Honor X9C proved to be a really good smartphone at a very safe price that I can tell people to confidently buy without thinking so much about it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Zen the Geek and this has been the Honor X9C. I'll see you guys in the next video.